Uh, we're with consultant director of rugby Steve Diamond, looking forward to Friday's home game against Leicester Tigers. Um, Steve, you took charge of your first Premiership game for the club last week down at Exeter. What were your reflections on that one? Well, I thought we were combative. I thought the work rate was really good. Uh, we were ill-disciplined, unfortunately, which I think was the reason we possibly could have won that game and, and definitely should have got a bonus point. Uh, but experience tells me if you get two yellow cards um, and give 17 penalties away, you're not going to win many games. So a bit disappointed with that. We've had a good chat about that this week. Um, it's not a fitness issue. It's just one or two people just being lazy. So we've had a, we've had a stern word about that and uh, hopefully that won't be the case on Friday. A long bus trip and a short turnaround. Do you have much scope to get work into the legs this week or is it more the tactical side of things? Oh, a bit of both, really. They've had a good run out yesterday. They flushed them out on Monday. Um, we've got a training session tomorrow. So, no, no, we're, we're, we're fine. We'll be up. We'll be ready for Friday night, definitely. Got Leicester Tigers this weekend. What would you expect from them? Well, they're, you know, they, they lost a weekend at home, which is a surprise. Dominant forward pack. Uh, good five metres out, kick the ball a lot, so we've got a proper game on our hands, so we, we've got to be at our best to, to win this. It's going to be your first home game in charge, um, you've come here many times as a away coach, what, what's it like playing at Kingston Park on a Friday night as an away team? Oh, an away team, shocker, absolute shocker, I think I've won two in about 28 years, uh, and let's, may that long continue, but yeah, a daunting place to come. In terms of getting a big home crowd in and getting the, the public behind you, um, what message would you like to put out there to the sports fans in the North East? Well, all I can say is that um, representing Newcastle Falcons, a lot of local lads playing for the team, a lot of lads playing for careers, uh, we'll definitely show up and, uh, and give them a, a spectacle of collision sport. You mentioned one local lad there, um, Tom Penny. If he's fit and available this weekend, it'll be his 100th game for the club. A great honour for him, and I know you've spoken about the importance of local lads coming through as well. Yeah, 100 games for the club is massive, and Tom's been around at two or three clubs in his in his career, and he, he's back to where he started, and very, uh, very pleased for him getting his 100th cap. Uh, it was outstanding last week for us at Exeter, and um, you know, really important that people who give blood for the club, certainly from the local area, you know, it certainly means more to them than anybody. In terms of the off-field stuff this week, we've got our big night out for the Leicester game on Friday. We've got a 90s theme, a bit of fancy dress and some 90s playlists. Um, if you could put any tunes on the playlist, uh, what were you listening to in the 90s times? Well, it, from the 90s, it'd have to be Happy Mondays from Manchester and probably Oasis. Um, have to go uh, local for those. Mad for it. Thanks very much for your time, Dimes.